What's up, guys? So recently, somewhat recently, I did a video where I replaced a hard drive in a Lenovo mini PC. Um, that should be popping up on the screen now. If not, it's down in description below. Uh, but in that, I found that the hard drive in that system was bad, and then I decided to replace it. And this is Crystal Disk Info Output. I just ran it again, and it's still showing this drive is bad. I've got that um, sitting in a uh, external like cradle thing. Um, so it's bad. So in that video, I said that I would probably do something uh, to see if I could fix it just out of curiosity. Fact of the matter is, guys, I'm going to do a couple things on this. And if I'm able to fix it, cool. If not, it's no harm, no foul. But even if I am able to fix it, it is an old mechanical hard drive so even if i'm able to fix it and this says health status 100 percent, i'm not going to use it so i'm basically just doing this video for fun and just to kind of see if i can fix it um so that's what we're doing today so let's uh get started on that so there's a couple things that we are going to try on this um first of all we are going to First of all, I'm going to close this and let me bring up the file explorer, bring that over here. I'll show you. This is the drive we're working with, the G drive. Now, as you can see, it's accessible, uh, but there's other problems on that. So one thing that we're going to do, we're going to go into the command prompt here. And I have mine set to always open it in an admin command prompt. And to do this stuff, um, I believe you have to be an admin command prompt. Don't make me swear to that, though. So generally, if the drive had any data on it, uh, let me just move over to the G drive here and clear the screen. If the drive had any data on it, which you see it does not, it is empty when I directory that out, you could do a SFC, which is a system file checker, slash scan now. But because the drive has been formatted and there's literally no data on it, SFC stands for system file checker. There's no files for it to go check. So running a surface scan with the SFC command is um, pretty useless um, because there's no files on it for it to scan. So what we're going to do, we're going to move down to the uh, check disk um, option. And so to run check disk, um, you just do chk dsk. And we're going to do, there's two switches that you can do or flags with check disk you can do slash f and that kind of does the same thing that surface scan does slash f is supposed to fix the file system um, so again in this instance that's not going to do us any good because the drive is blank and then you can do slash r now slash r is where we're going to start with this it will do a scan of the file system if it's present it is not present at this point, but this, the slash R, will scan for bad sectors. And it will attempt to recover data as well, which is also kind of pointless because we don't care about the data that was on it. Um, and I don't even think that's what it means. I think that if there's data on there and it's corrupt, it will recover that. Um, it doesn't actually go into the partition and pull old data out. There's tools for that. Whole other video. I think I've got one or two of those. So basically, using the slash F, um, that's for file system problems. Corrupted files, directories, stuff like that. Using the slash R after check disk, um, that is for potential hardware issues like bad sectors or read-write errors. And that's what we're going to start with here. So I'm going to go ahead and give it this command, check disk slash R. And let's see, it's in use by another process. Check disk may run if this volume is dismounted first. All open handles, etc., etc. Would you like to force a dismount on this volume? So yeah, let's go ahead and make it do that. And then it gives us a bunch of stuff and starts its check disk. Now, this is only a 500 gig drive uh, with nothing on it. Actually, the amount of data that it's on it or not on it doesn't really matter with this because it's looking for bad sectors and read-write errors, stuff like that. So we're going to let this do its thing. 
And as soon as it's done, I will be right back with you guys. Just checking back in, guys. It's only been a few minutes. Um, just wanted to point out if we didn't notice it before, it does look like it's looking for bad clusters and free clusters. Um, it went through a few steps prior to um, me stopping the video and coming back. Uh, but it did the examining of the basic file structure here. Examining file names. And then security descriptors and looking for bad clusters. And it says 240 were processed. And it really doesn't give a result of that. But right now it is looking for bad and free clusters. And it looks like maybe this is a countdown. That looks like maybe an hour. <laughs> I hope that's not a day and two hours and 41 minutes. No, it's not. It's an hour, two minutes, and 38 seconds, it looks like. Um, and we're at 4% total. So we've got some uh, time to go here. So we're just going to wait it out, and I'll be right back with you. Well, guys, look at this. We are done. So looking here, it took right at about 2.02 hours. Um, so that was the last portion there. Uh, from when I left you guys last. So if we look forward here, Windows has made corrections to the file system. No further action is required. And it kind of gives a little bit of a uh, summary down here. Um, it talks about, uh, had this much, this many kilobytes and nine files, 76 KB, 15 indexes. This one here is 1,640 kilobytes in bad sectors. And they got 81107 in use by system. Uh, occupied by the log and then available on disk. So it doesn't really say anything else. It doesn't say that it corrected anything, but it does say that it found some stuff uh, in bad sectors and it does say that Windows has made corrections to the file system. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And what we will do, we will go ahead and open up Crystal disk info again. Oh, come on. Where is that? It is in here. Disk info. There we go. And let that pop up if it's going to. There we go. So that popped up. Still showing bad. So that really didn't uh, make a change on anything, guys. So we're going to go to the next step here of what we're going to do. And what we are going to do here is use Victoria for Windows. Now, Victoria for Windows is basically, it's a free utility, free download. In fact, the link is down in the description below. Um, and it's supposed to kind of analyze drive. Um, it's supposedly supposed to repair drives too. And I've messed with it a little bit just to kind of try to figure things out. Once you open it here, uh, you can click on this drive info. In fact, I think that's by default what comes up. Here's all your drives listed over here to the left. The one I chose is the one that we're working with, the 500 gigabyte uh, HDST, which used to be Hitachi. And I believe Western Digital owns Hitachi now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. So... What we're going to do, um, once you select the drive that you want, you come over here to test and repair. And now there's some options um, before we just get to hit and scan here. If you look down here, you have a few options here. You can ignore. So if it goes through here and detects bad sectors or whatever, you can um, ignore them. You can erase them or remap them. Refresh, I'm really not sure what that is, uh, but it's not going to be an option. So if we keep this on ignore, in my mind, I couldn't find any documentation on it, but it's really not going to do anything to help fix the drive because it's just going to ignore it. So we can either do erase or remap. Now erase, uh, this is where it writes zeros to the sector and apparently sometimes it can recover that sector if the issue is logical if it's a logical error on the drive um, then we have remap and this will basically mark the bad sectors as unusable and then it remaps them to spare sectors 
Um, so either one of these will work. I think we're going to go with remap. And uh, once you choose what you want it to do, then you simply come up here and hit scan like so. So I'm sure this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, as you can see, it has started right here. It gives us the percentage of it being complete or not. So we might be here for quite a while on this, guys. But don't worry, I'm not going to record all this. Um, I'm just going to come back and check in with you. I might check back in with you periodically uh, before uh, the end of it. Um, but we'll see. It's just going to depend on how long this takes. So let's let this do its thing. Um, I mean, we're already almost at 0.1%. Boy, we're flying. But um, let's see what it finds, and we will go from there. So I will check back within you with you shortly. Okay, guys. So this isn't looking good. So as you guys see, I'm getting this remap error. Device is not ready. I've actually looked that up, and basically this indicates that <laughs> there's a few indications for it like one is um unable to access the hard drive properly because of a, like how it's connected that's not the case because it's connected fine and reading the drive just fine and i use this to read other drives all the time um but one of the other re reasons is there's two reasons uh a failing drive um or issues with the disk itself which actually is the same exact thing as a failing drive, which I don't understand why it gives those two. But unfortunately, the way that we've tried to fix this with check disk and this Victoria for Windows, it is simply not working. Now, that is not to say that this drive cannot be recovered. There are professional um, companies out there that do this stuff all the time and they can probably make this work again. If there were any data, they could extract that data off of it. We're lucky and we have no data on this, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but anyway, guys, unfortunately, it looks like trying to get this drive to work, complete and utter failure by the means that we have tried. Um, so anyway, we're going to have to scrap the drive, which was okay. Like I said before, if I was able to fix the drive, I wasn't going to use it uh, for any type of storage anyway. It was just more of a curiosity thing. Anyway, guys, that is it for this one. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and give me a like. And if you would, consider subscribing also for future content. Thanks, guys.